Hello, our viewers. This is Emmanuel Mandela from Move Company. Welcome back to yet another session where we are going to be describing or showing you how you can create invoices through the Kakasa platform. Uh, we have been ha running a series of videos trying to describe or explain to you how you can use the Kakasa platform integrated with Ifreeze QuickBooks Online through the Kakasa to Ifreeze. Ifreeze means Electronic Physical Receipting and Invoicing System, which is owned by Uganda Revenue Authority. So in this session, I'm going to be showing you how to handle what we call invoicing or fiscalization. Previously, in the previous videos, we have handled product registration, where we have handled stocking, we have handled stock adjustments, we have handled opening stock. We have had, yeah, now we are going to be looking at the transactions. Now, for you to create an invoice, a physical invoice through the Kakasa platform, this is the Kakasa platform. I'm going to go to my QuickBooks account. I'm going to create an invoice. I'm going to create an invoice in QuickBooks. So I'm going to specify the customer name. I'm going to specify the item I want. Uh, we item we earlier configured is called demo. This is the one. I'm going to first leave it to one item line. Oh, I can. Okay, let's let's do two item lines. So I'm going to create this same item. Now this one I'm going to give it exempt. I'm going to give it exempt. Always make sure these prices are inclusive of tax. So I have to configure this to set this to be inclusive. I can adjust the quantity to probably. 10 and then I can also adjust this to 15 okay that's all if you have a customer TIN number please supply the TIN number here okay so for now I'm going to I can go to leave it blank then we can if you have a memo you can pass it here then I'm going to click on, just going to click on save and new. Having created the transaction in QuickBooks, you come to the Kakasa QuickBook reports. Remember QuickBook reports holds things coming from QuickBooks. Then I go to invoices. I'll go to all invoices tab. On all invoices tab, you will see transactions here. So what do you need to do to have this transaction now? This is what we are from creating. So what you will do, you will come to the date range here, select today, then click on choose from range. And this will choose transactions within that range. Go ahead and click on sync selected invoice. Don't come back here, click on sync selected invoices. So I'll click on this. It will sync the invoice and store it onto the Kakasa platform. So for you can proceed from there and use it with whatever you want. Now, the invoice has been synced. We can see it here as the industry. If you want to update the industry, just select this invoice. Then come here and maybe switch and say maybe I want to export. Okay. It will refresh the page. Same thing to the buyer type. So I'm going to leave this to the general industry. this general industry now the buyer type i'm also going to choose this i'm going to, this is consumer so this option is blank so this is consumer and now it is showing has validation error you can see we have some show preview this one shows has validation error to fix the issue here what i'll do i'll come to all invoices then I come to come to QuickBook reports, invoices, then I come to validation errors. 
I want to see the exact error why it is showing that now it is showing the customer tin is not valid blah 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 so URA allows invoices even if the customer has not in as long as yeah as long as the bad type is a consumer so how will I fix this I'll come back to all invoices then I come back here to this sync I will come here to calendar I choose today then I choose after choosing I'll click sync selected invoice once again and this should be able now to clear off that error and have this invoice ready probably the other option could be to use validate invoices the only challenge is if you click on validate invoices it will validate all the transactions you have in your account so basically i advise you to just sync again it will make it easier and this button when you click on, on physicalize ready this will pick all invoices here which are ready to be submitted like these ones and send to URA when you click on sync invoices from eFreeze what this does it goes to eFreeze looks for invoices with this reference number in the case it finds these reference numbers there it will flag these transactions to be fiscalized now before going ahead to send what I would the transaction I'm going to click on preview and be sure the tax I'm sending to URA is the tax I intended to have. You see here when I happen to go back to our transaction in QuickBooks, and you realize we have we have two taxes, we have some we have this is one product and we set one first item line we are selling VAT 18%, second item line we are selling exempt so you have to make sure your preview matches the same you can see so basically it is okay this is what i was expecting so i'll just go back and click on fiscalize this will pick the transaction and send it to you Ghana revenue authority on your account then good it is done so how can i download this I'll come now to URA reference reports, then I come to invoices. On invoices, I should be able to see it here. This is the one. I can click on preview. And click on preview. Preview it. Uh, you shall need to, okay. Here it is. This is our template. If you have a logo, you always change this in the settings and this will come with your logo how do i verify if this one exists at URA? i'll refresh this then i come back here and come to physical document management physical document inquiry i will try to search and see the last submitted transaction swift is the one which belongs to me so you can you can see the details that uh, is demo product registration pppc you sold exempt the first one was standard 18 percent and the second one is exempt and uh, the total amount so basically this is how you how you are able to generate an e-freeze transaction using the Kakasa platform from QuickBooks Online to URA for that for VAT standard be it deemed be it zero rated We'll just go ahead and specify this i can just quickly create one more invoice here and save a new i'm going to create one more and let's say i have this and then i'm selling 
demo product and this time round my customer has a tin number so i'll go ahead and supply the tin number here i'm getting tin number i'll go ahead and i'm selling to myself let me sell to selling to if company this is one seven so you go ahead and supply the tin number and then click on save so when i come back here to invoices quick book reports invoices all invoices i'll come and choose the calendar i'll choose for today i'll click on choose then i click on sync selected invoices this is select them for me so i'm waiting for it to okay first attempt it has preview i'm just going to update the buyer type uh, my routine number is supplied is for business so i'm going to select b2b i click ok and then i will click preview to confirm just i can submit without clicking preview i can see the customer team is here remember in quickbooks we have a wrong name here so when i happen to submit this to URA, under URA reports we should now be able to have a correct to have a name associated with that team submitted so when i happen to come under a freeze invoices now you can see this cell is made with company guy limited because with is the owner of the team number that we have used for physicalization so if you're not logged in you are a how are you able to get the URA freeze you don't want these things of getting the OTP and so on what you will just do let me try to go to URA just in, in the Kakasa obtain the FDN obtain the physical document number this uh, then I'm going to come to the freeze platform I just enter the FDN here click on validate and then this transaction will be able to pop up without you having to log in your account so you can see the details of the transaction and everything looks well this is served by andre manuel because this is the account i'm logged in with this is the reference number okay basically this is the process you go through to generate an invoice from quickbooks online to ifreeze using the kakasa thank you for watching